Hi guys! Welcome again sa YouTube channel ko. Today's video, tuturuan ko kayo ng logarithmic equation. So, alam natin, pagka logarithmic equation, kukunin natin yung value ng x. So, therefore, let's find out what will be the value of x and how do we solve for this one. So, meron ang given na logarithm base of 3, x plus 1 is equal to 2. So, first step na gagawin nyo is just x plus 1 and then itong 3. Take note. Pati basa ito yung exponent. Diba? Balik natin siya sa taas. Itong 3, ilalagay natin dito. So, therefore, so, x plus 1, 3 squared will become 9. And then, after that, x is equal to 9. Ito, transpose, magiging 1. And then, x is equal to 3. So, this will be the final answer. Okay, magbibigay pa ako ng isang set of examples. Okay guys, welcome to second video ko. Ito yung given natin, logarithm x plus 2 plus logarithm x minus 1 is equal to 1. And then how do we solve for this one? So alam natin guys, pag plus ang uh, logarithm, ang rules niya, ay ibabalik natin siya sa multiplication. So this will become log. Then after that, x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 and then it equals to 1. So write one tayo. So this will become 1. And then multiply natin x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1. Ito, palibasa ang exponent niya, this will become 10 raised to 1. Kasi pag 1 ng exponent, automatic is over 10. And then, multiply natin. x times x will be x squared. This will become negative x. Ito, multiply natin. This will become positive 2x. And this will become negative 2. It's equals to 10. So, x squared negative x plus 2x is equals to x, right? And then, minus 2. Ito, transpose natin. Magiging then This will become 0. So, x squared. So, plus x. Minus negative 2 plus 10 will become negative 1. And then, after that, we will factor this one. Ito, pa-factor natin. So, kukunin natin yung value ng x. So, factor nyan. Palibasa negative 12. Ano yung factor? So, meron tayo negative 4 at saka 3. So, x and then x max. Kasi negative 4 times positive 3 will become negative 12. And then, this will become what? Um, ay, dapat pala to 4. Ito ang minus 3. Kasi positive eh. 4x and then negative 3x. So, paano natin kukunin yung value? Alam natin, pag positive, pag tinranspose sa kabila, this will become negative 4 and the other one is uh, positive 3. So, this will be the two answers. Okay. So, yan ang example natin for the logarithm equation. So, magbibigay pa ako ng ibang examples. Okay, ito yung susunod natin example. Logarithm base of 6, 2x plus 6 is equal to 2. So, ganito lang yan. 2x plus 6. Palibasa ito ay 6. Ito yung exponent. Pagiging ganyan siya. Paano natin susob yung x? So, 2x plus 6. And then, 6 squared will become 36. Right? So, this will become 2x is equals to uh, 36 ito transpose mo magiging minus 6 so 2x is equals to 30 divided by 2 divided by 2 and then x is equals to 15 so this will be our final answer 15 So, this will be the value of x. 
nito, magbibigay pa ako ng iba't ibang example on how to solve logarithm equation. Okay guys, this is my second example, logarithm 16 minus x squared divided by logarithm 3x minus 4 is equals to 2. So, how do we solve for the x? So, first step na gagawin natin is just i-cross multiply natin to logarithm 16 minus x squared and then this one di ito magiging 2 tapos ilalagay natin yung logarithm 3x minus 4 parang bumbaga cross multiply so palipasa ito ang rules natin dito ay power rule panbang power rule so ibabalik natin siya so this will become 16 minus x squared is equals to 3x minus 4 babalik natin siya sa power rule right and then 16 minus x squared ito expand na natin uli so para 3x minus 4 3x minus 4 3x minus 4 times 3x minus 4 so dalawang beses natin so this will become 9x squared take nota so 3x Yung gitna niya na, ito kasi negative 4 squared will become positive 16. So, 3x minus 4, ito magiging negative 24x. Yan. And then, how do we solve for the x? So, guys, this will become, uh, lahat ililipat natin na, ito magiging 0. So, 9x squared ito magiging positive ito ha Tama, magiging positive x squared so this will become uh, positive 16 ok so meron pa siyang 24x ha and then ito magiging negative 16 plus 16 so ito cancel na natin so this one this will become 10x squared minus 24 x. Am I right? Is equals to 0. So, pa-factor natin siya. This will become x. Labas natin. And then, this will become uh, 10. Am I right? 10x minus 24 is equals to 0. So, kukunin natin yung isang x. Automatic dito Yung isa, x is equals to 0 na. Meron na tayong 0. Ito, 10x. Ha? Take note, ha? Is equals to 24. Equals to negative siya. So, divided by 10. Divided by 10. And then, this will become x is equals to 24. And 10. So, this will be the final answer. Yan. So, yan na magiging answer niya. Take note, ah, x is equal to 0. Itong 10x, i-transpose natin magiging positive 24 divided by 10 divided. And the answer is 24 divided by 10. Or, yeah, that, okay na yan. Basta ganyan lang ang answer. That will be already a credit. So, pwede siyang divisible by 2. So, either 12 over 5. Pwede rin tong x so, be 12 over 5. Yan. Pag nilogdulis mo sa lowest term, ito. Tama ba? 24 divided by 2 is 12. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, that will be the final answer. Okay. So, marami na tayong examples.